there welcome back to my channel live first studio in our previous video we designed home fragment um, and we did this upper static part so in this video we'll mainly focus on uh, adding some of the functionality like uh, adding uh, functionality to update the API link we will be designing the recycler view cell items and setting up uh, the UI for the recycler view so let's get started so uh, as we always do let's just jump on to our Figma file and see what all changes uh, do we have to make and how will they look in uh, physical world so this is a Figma file uh, which uh, we were referring to so I made few changes so as we are going to uh, create this uh, layout so whenever a user will create, click on this uh, link button so what we want to do is uh, we want to redirect the user to a dialog uh, a dialog will be appearing and in that dialog we will be asking user to uh, actually update the API link so once user clicks on the uh, uh update button so it will update the previous link jo pehle save hota tha uske jaga uh, a new link will be saved uh, in the shape preferences so let us go ahead and design this layout and then we'll be uh, writing the code to inflating this in our uh, code on our screen so we are back in the studio so let's just go ahead and create a new layout file so for this we can create a new layout file and call it as api dialog api dialog okay so it already gives us constraint layout let's start by creating uh, this animation so this is lottie animation view After that, we can make use of the same layout which we used in the link fragment to base out things. So I think we are good to go so this is our label this is our card view and for the card view I think we need to have the compact padding as well that's it I guess we're good to go so so we have created the layout uh, we have exit button or we can change this to 
close button and this we can change to update button this should remain the same doesn't matter this we are not border everything let's just go ahead and create this functionality inside the application go back to home fragment and inside this get the instance of the link button so this is the sorry uh, this is the home fragment and this is update api link so binding dot update api link dot set on click listener and in this we need to call a function which will help us in opening up the uh, the API dialog and then from there we will be updating the link so show API update dialog and we can create a function as show API update dialog right so inside this uh, first we have to create a view so well, API view is equal to layout inflator uh, dot from we require the context and dot inflate r dot layout dot dot api dialog and parent we have to do as null so then we have to create a dialog instance so well dialog is equal to we'll be using as we'll be extending the alert dialog to create a custom dialog so this also requires the instance and then we need to set the view and provide this api view after that in order to make use of all the components uh, mentioned inside that api dialog binding uh, i'm creating a local variable called binding which will be used as api dialog binding dot bind and we will be binding the view which we created which is api view that's it now uh, it's time to create the dialog so for that I'll create a variable called alert dialog and I'll be giving this dialog dot create and we need to set some values as well so in order to make it as uh, this dialog as transparent so that it it should pop up on the screen uh, so in that we need to set some of the window constraints so as we are not working in activity we are working in the fragment so fragment is inheriting the view of the container that we have initialized inside the activity so in order to make this as a transparent move so we need to define some flags so for that uh, what we have to do is uh, we have to make use of the window uh, function and then we can do a set background drawable and we can use as color drawable uh, and then inside that we can use color dot transparent after that we don't want to have this as false cancelable as false so that user will click outside this dialog and it should not get closed and at last we'll be showing this dialog so till this part we have successfully popped up the dialog whenever user will click on the button so now we have to add the functionality to up actually update the uh, link so for that uh, first thing is let's just create the functionality for this close button so api binding dot close button dot set on click listener what we'll do we'll just call alert dialog dot dismiss and then api dialog dot accept no update button dot set on click listener so here we are going to replicate the functionality which we uh, did uh, for inside the link fragment so i'm gonna go back to the link fragment and yes so here's the thing so in this accept button listener uh, also we were uh, doing this so if the uh, the link is blank then uh, we were actually throwing the error otherwise we were accepting the link and say, say, setting inside the share preferences so i'm gonna copy this and I am going to paste this inside the click listener. So here binding is API binding dot link is text. And if API link is blank, then binding API binding dot input text. Please 
input the API link to update else on link interval so on link enter is also there so if on link enters is entered it's press then all we have to do is instead of this we'll be doing alert dialog dot dismiss that's it and we have our working functionality so in order to check that whether we have actually updated the link so what we're going to do is on this set on click listener we actually going to fetch the link so let's just copy this function as well and paste this paste it here so for this we need to create uh, so we don't want we want to uh, pass the string and we just want to return the API and we can make it as inline variable uh, return okay what is it what it's saying is change to type to string okay that's it is link available then here on the top what we can do is show update dialog so here we can create a toast message toast dot make text require context slash link uh, it's is link available and then toast dot blend shot dot show so this will give us uh, the existing link and once that link is uh, there it will pop show this dialog and if we entered an updated link then we should get an updated link as well if we click on this again so we have completed the functionality so now let's just try it out on our physical device so So we're in so if we click on this button uh, we should uh, supposed to get uh, the previous link which is there uh, inside the application yep so the link is www.api.com so somehow this is coming in the background so we have to create this in the in the foreground okay not a big update but cool so at least our thing is working so if we do the update and we do not have anything so it will throw us an error but instead www.api2.com so if we update it will close now if we click on this button now you see the link is api2.com so I think this functionality is working. So it's looking cool having a custom dialogue. So a good thing to learn as well. So I'll just quickly make this in the foreground and let's see how the app looks. So that, go here and I guess I have done the ele elevation still. Why isn't working? Uh, let's just increase the elevation then uh, just, let's just restart the application okay so now it's working so you see it creates a 3d effect kind of thing uh, so we have this on the top of this dialog and if we click outside this dialog nothing will happen because we have done set cancelable false and rest our thing is working so www.api3.com if we click on update and click on this button again then you see we have our link update so everything is working so we have completed our first part so now our second part is to actually create the recycler view so i'm gonna create another short video to have this uh, layout ready for the recycler view then in the next video we can do the actual uh, setup for the recycler view by getting inside the code so that's it for the video i hope you liked it and 
if you liked it do hit the like button share subscribe and i'll see you in the next video see ya